The other day, I was introduced to this fantastic mod, and I showed it to y'all back on New RPG News. It is a combination of two of the best Final Fantasy games molded into one. It is Final Fantasy Tactics and Final Fantasy VI, and it is so freaking cool! And there are two trailers released about it, and I really just kind of want to deep dive into these trailers and just look at it and see exactly what there is here and just kind of go over it with y'all because, like, I can't get enough of this. This is a mod hack of Final Fantasy Tactics, but it actually introduces the characters of Final Fantasy VI instead of the named characters of Final Fantasy Tactics. So instead of like Mastadio, you have Edgar, instead of Agrius, you have Cyan, so on and so forth. It does say that it's going to be a battle rush style, so I don't know if that means that they're going to have story sequences between the battles, or if it's just going to be like, okay, here's the battle of Narshi Mines, Okay, here's the battle on the Chocobos. Okay, here's the battle in the Cave to South Figaro. Okay, here's the battle with, with Vargas. Like, I don't know. Is it going to have a world map? I don't know. These are things that I would like to know if they're actually going to tell the story of Final Fantasy VI. So all we really have to look at here are, are the battles themselves. But even then, just these battles themselves, they look so freaking cool! One thing to note, every single character automatically has items as their secondary ability, as well as magic. Any basic, basic magical spells are there for everybody. It looks like it's the exact same spells for everyone. And then you learn your unique skills with JP. The spells that were shown are Cure, Regeneration, Fire, Ice, Bolt, Poison, as well as Raise. There might be more, but we don't know. Locke here in the Narshi Mines, he has access to those spells as well as his thief abilities. Me personally, I kind of wish that the magic was only for like Terra, Celeste, Strago, and Realm, like the, you know, casters, or maybe if they implemented some sort of like Magicite system, where after you go to Zozo, that you're able to access like black and white magic. Uh, maybe with like another locked class or an advanced class or a class change or something because you could do that kind of stuff in Final Fantasy Tactics. I think that would be a really neat addition. The next battle that we see here is uh, <laughs> it's the battle with Locke and Edgar and Terra and they're on the Chocobos and they're fighting against the Magic Armors. Interestingly here, you get to see um, Terra's skills and she has an Esper skill where she's able to cast advanced magic, such as Fire 2, but she has the same basic spells that Locke had. They all have those same basic spells. Edgar, though, he works differently. He equips weapons for various effects, such as his Bio Blaster gun. Um, unfortunately, the Bio Blaster, it, he, he, he shoots a gun just like, you know, a chemist or Mastadia would in Final Fantasy Tactics, but it doesn't actually deal damage, it just deals the status ailment. Next up, we show the, they show the battle against Ultras. And you're not just like stuck on a raft, you know? You can actually move around the map there. And Sabin has monk abilities. Notice here though, some of these monk abilities also cost MP. So abilities will not only cost time, they will also cost MP depending on what they are. They also show the Phantom Train uh, with Shadow, and he has throw abilities, so he can throw weapons, or he can throw, you know, the little ninja stars or the ninja balls. And then Cyan seems to be incredibly overpowered, if you ask me, because he has Agrius's sword tech abilities. I saw, like, a holy sword ability where he's able to absorb HP, which is really neat. Then there's the battle against Vargas, and here you get to see Edgar again, but now he has the Noise Blaster instead of the Bio Blaster. But you can also see here that it only inflicts the Confused status, it doesn't deal any sort of damage, just like it did um, in the original game. In the battle against Kefka and the Narshi Mines, you get to see everybody there as well, uh, but you really get to see Cyan's abilities in full force. You get to see Dispatch, Slash, Quadrasand, Stunner, and all of those don't have any MP cost. Savin's abilities, his monk abilities, did have MP costs, but Cyan's don't. Um, I guess it just has like a longer wait time, 
maybe that is a way to kind of emulate the sword tech waiting time that was in Final Fantasy VI. Edgar also, interestingly, in his tool belt, he has Air Anchor, which you know he shouldn't have at this point. Maybe it's just a test build. I don't know what they're doing with that, but it does seem pretty neat. Then at Zozo, and here's where I really noticed this here. In Final Fantasy Tactics, you're able to have five characters fight at a time. But here, because you can only have four party members in Final Fantasy VI, you only have four party members at a time. And I think it's really cool how you're fighting like Daddy Llama up there, and you know, like the, just, the, just the way that Zozo is all set up with like the elevations and all that, it's just really, really neat, and I like it. And you can see Shadow casting Rays. Rays wasn't on the spell list before, but you know that it's in there now because he's casting it. Then in Thamasha, in that burning house, you get to see Strago and his lore abilities. Interestingly, he has three lures that they show off, Aqua Breath, Blowfish, and Grand Delta. But Blowfish and Grand Delta and the other lures, they cost MP. Aqua Breath, though, is free for him, so it's a free uh, MP, MP cost zero spell for him to use. And I do wonder how the blue magic will work. Maybe, like, as you kill a monster with him, he'll just automatically learn it. Maybe if he gets hit with the magic, then he'll learn it. Maybe he'll pick it up from, like, the crystals, you know, whenever the enemies are dead for three turns, then you step on the crystal, and then you might be able to inherit blue magic that way. So this is neat, and it looks like they've gotten the battles all the way up to the floating continent. They haven't yet worked in the world of ruin, though. But I, for one, am so totally looking forward to this, and they're supposed to have a fully fleshed out mod completely done, or at least like a beta version, in just a couple of months, according to the comments section of their trailer. They said in just a few months, we're going to have like a beta version uh, that, that, that will be out that y'all can play and give feedback. And oh my gosh, like combining Final Fantasy Tactics and Final Fantasy VI together in one, that is like my dream. It is so cool, and I love the music from VI being put in there as well. I do hope that they switch up the magic learning system to make it more like it was in the original game, and I do hope that they are able to include storyline sequences between, like, maybe whenever you go to South Figaro, um, not only can you, like, you know, buy items and stuff in South Figaro, but maybe you'll have, like, a scene where you meet the rich man you know, um, or have some sort of scene where Locke is trying to escape and then he runs into Celeste or something like that. I think that, that would be pretty cool, a nice addition if it's not just only Battle Rush and if they really are able to include those storyline sequences. I think that would be a great addition. What do you all think about this hack? I would love to know if you have any inside information about the hack too. I have tried to get in touch with the developers of it myself, and if they do get back to me, I will let you know with an update to this, because oh my gosh, this is like mind frickin' blown. I'm loving this. Have a good day.